Hey, gorgeous souls. Yeah, what a great, potentially great week we've got in store for us. Because actually, it is the official astrological new year because it's new moon in Aries. And certainly in the UK, we're having a new start because it is an opening up of shops and being able to travel and stay overnight in our country. So that's great. But wherever you are in the world, it's a new beginning. Here's your weekly astrology. Taurus, you divine and magical creature. I've got good news this week. I might as well just tell you the good news. I'm an Aries. I don't like to hold back. Here is your best bit of news or potentially the best bit of news for you is that Venus, your ruler, is going into your sign. Oh, how lovely. It sort of allows you to really work on your self-love. And if you tune into that energy, you can just really, really advance your relationship with your, yourself. And also, you're a bit of a love magnet to not only other people, but other experiences. And you're going to want to do all sorts of cosy and loving things. You can transform your world and bring about harmony. And you're feeling truly, you know, at the best of yourself. Well, that's the potential anyway, for you to feel like just totally grounded in love and abundance. So that's not just one-to-one relationships, although it is one of the best times of the year for one-to-one relationships, but it's also great for, as I say, self-love and drawing abundance to you and being a magnet for positive experiences with other people. You've got good vibes around you and other people can feel that. And hopefully, as I say, you're feeling great about yourself and that's truly important. I know Taurians can appear very stable and sturdy, but often there are a lot of issues of self-doubt beneath the surface, which can actually you know, embed you in certain stubborn behaviours and patterns. But when you look at that, and now is the perfect time, you can free yourself and draw even more love to you. So it is absolutely magical and fabulous. Anyway, let's start at the beginning of this week. We have that new moon I was telling you about. And it's super important to you because it's the last new moon until we get to your new moon. So it's the end of a cycle. So super important for you to think, okay, what do I want to let go of? What what baggage do I want to deal with? What stuff do I want to take responsibility for and release before we get to my own very own astrological new year and brand new cycle? Uh, You're super psychic at the moment, but also you may be very sensitive and watch out that you're not being paranoid in certain situations. It's good for self-reflection, letting go of addictions, letting go of kind of fantasies that no longer serve you, making a commitment to trust your own intuition. And also, just for added glam and glam and, and magic, it is joining forces. It's at one with Venus. So that makes it triply powerful. In fact, you could conjure up or experience something that's almost, well, I would say fairy tale like, but let's face it, <laughs> fairy tales often have things in them which nobody wants to go through. So there, there is the opportunity for a deeper love, a deeper love uh, and a deeper beginning and, and potentially meeting someone or reconnecting with someone. And you have this kind of past life connection. You have this very deep empathy. You have this feeling of complete warmth. Now, um, the Venus is entering Taurus around the 14th, depending on where you are. And on the 13th, the Sun is sextile Mars. You have this uh, desire or ability or potential to turn your dreams into reality. Mars, which is your passion and your your fire, is in, in a very grounded position. And the sun is in your imagination and spirituality. So you're, you're able to bring practicality into your dreams. Other good news, the sun is sextile Jupiter, super powerful. You have a, a cosmic connection with the people around you. Also, Mars is trying Jupiter. You're building things up. You're building up work. You're building up all sorts of things this week to lead you onwards. A magical, fabulous week. But do the work in letting go and taking responsibility. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.